All right, guys, welcome. Montanique here from the AdQuiz team. Uh, and today I've got something really, really, really exciting for you guys. Uh, how to set up dynamic remarketing for Google Ads using Google Tag Manager. If you run an e-commerce website, this is something you should have. If you're running Google Ads, um, you really have to ensure that this is all set up for success. This is about sending the right data to Google Ads. Um, when someone visits your website, um, and they're viewing a product page, but they're not purchasing or they're not adding to cart or they're not taking the actions that you want, hey, they're not converting, um, then you want those products to show, hey, you want to show those products again using Google Ads, using display ads, for example, on other websites. So that's what Dynamic Remarketing does. And today I'm gonna walk you through how to set it up uh, because I already shared this file previously lots of people were interested i was getting really really awesome responses uh, so i thought i would just record a video for you guys to make it like even easier for you i also have this on our website this is just like an exact copy of the file to make it as easy as possible for you um, but today i'll be using this uh, this sop here um, standard operating procedure yeah sorry so First off, we have like a few steps that we're gonna take. Uh, so you do need some basic Google Tag Manager knowledge and you need like a working data layer on your website. Don't worry if you don't have it yet, um, I'll create like separate videos on that part as well. You can also utilize dynamic remarketing outside of e-commerce, uh, but I won't cover that in this, uh, in this video. That's something for later. So I have a few chapters here. Um, so what we're going to do, we're activated in Google Ads, then we're going to walk through a Google Tag Manager setup, uh, so you guys know exactly what it how it works, and then we're going to check how to debug it, and if it works in Google Ads, you can check that as well. So let's just dive in, uh, and we need to activate the option in Google Ads first. Um, so I'm here, I'm here in Tools, I'm here in the Audience Manager, then I'm here in the Google Ads tag and I'm clicking these three dots here, edit the source, and this is the function that you need to turn on, guys. Collect data, specific actions that people performed uh, so we can show them personalized ads. That's the first step. That's a really, really, really easy step. Uh, but now uh, we still need to create some other things, of course. Um, so we have five events that are useful. Uh, those are from the e-commerce events from GA4, um, which you should, uh, you should also have with a data layer, of course. So it only works for those five events. So if we would wanna check this in Google Tag Manager, um, we need to check some, uh, some triggers here. So we need the e-commerce events. So what I did here was create a custom event uh, and then just use, oh, sorry, it was this one. Uh, was it this one? Let me just double check which one I used here. Oh yeah, so uh, the GA4 events, of course, obviously. Uh, so I have all the GA4 e-commerce events listed here. It's also okay if you only take the five events that we just discussed. Really does make a difference for the market. So how you create this is really easy. You just go to a new trigger. You call this one, let's say test trigger, for example, and you just fire it on, uh, uh, oh, sorry, yeah, here. Uh, oh no, wait, I'm in tags here. Sorry about that. Uh, so you create a new trigger and you call that custom event. You choose the regex matching and you just paste all the events here. And then you hit save. So now you have that trigger. So uh, let me show you what it should look like. Uh, it should just look like this. So uh, it triggered on all those custom events. Make sure to enable regex matching if, you're, uh, if you have one trigger for all those events in one. I would recommend it because it's easy and it keeps your GPM set up really clean. Uh, so your tag will then look like what I just showed, of course. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create the tag and that we're going to attach the trigger to. Uh, so if we would check our tag here, uh, that's a Google Ads remarketing tag. 
uh, with the conversion ID that's correct. And then you need this dynamic remarketing event data turned on. Uh, then you need an event. Uh, that's obviously the name of one of the five events that we just covered. You also need to pass on a value there. Uh, so Google knows what the value is of that specific product. Um, then regarding those products, you should also pass on which products the event is about. Those are the event items. Um, I'm just gonna quickly walk through those three guys. Uh, so for the variables, we have the event. Obviously, that's just the event name. This is a built-in variable. We also have the e-commerce value. This is what we take from the data layer. Uh, don't worry about this. I'll show it to you guys in a bit. And we also have the e-commerce items. Um, I did it with a little script here, uh, but don't worry. There are numerous other methods for this, uh, for this as well. I'll show you an alternative in a bit. So knowing those variables, yeah, I kind of explained them here as well. Um, so I had this like the value of the product, the value of the purchase um, should be all worked out in your data. I'll show it to you when we get to the troubleshooting part. So let's say we would want to recreate a new remarketing tag here. Uh, then we're going to head over to tags and we're going to head over to new. Um, we obviously then click the Google ads and then the Google Ads Marketing. Um, yeah, so, and then you have this little button here. Um, I'm obviously not gonna do it because I already have like a working tag. So I'm gonna walk you through my existing tag here. So I'm gonna discard this. I'm gonna head back here. Um, so that's how you can recreate one, um, but I'm still gonna cover the conversion ID, obviously. Uh, so that's what you should fill in here. And those are unique per Google Ads account. Um, so let me just move back in here. Um, and then we have your data sources again. We have the Google Ads tag here, guys. Let's click on details and let's then click on tag setup. We use Google Tag Manager and here you see your conversion ID um, and that you can put in here, of course. The label is optional, don't worry about it. So, and then uh, you enable this button, send the dynamic remarketing event data with the variables that we just mentioned. Um, and as a trigger, you should then set those e-commerce events that we just discussed. Here again, uh, I set all the e-commerce events because it was easier for me to do and it doesn't hurt, um, but you can also choose to take the top five most important events. So that would be then a uh, view item, a view item list, add to cart, uh, the purchase, and you also have the, uh, the view search results one, but I don't have that one here as this website doesn't, uh, doesn't allow for that. So what your tag should look like in the end, uh, obviously we just, uh, we just covered that. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk you through the preview mode uh, so you can check what the tag is saying when we have it live. You have it here. Uh, I already have my tag manager uh, set up here. Did that prior to this video, save you guys some time. Um, so I have the view item event here. I'm just gonna take this as an example. Um, as you can see, my GA4 uh, 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 tag fires and my Google Ads remarketing tag fires succeeded successfully. Um, here you can see what this uh, tag contains. So we have the event value here that's taken from the data layer. We have the event name, which is view item, which is all correct, of course. And we have the e-commerce items. There are two important things here. Uh, first is that this ID should exactly match your product feed. Exactly. So no commas, no, no points, no other, um, uh, no other stuff in there, just an exact match. Um, then secondly, you should also have this ID here next to item ID. So most WordPress plugins, most tools just allow for this item ID, but you also need this ID. Item ID is used for GA4 and ID is used for uh, dynamic remarketing in Google Ads. 
So that was it guys. That was just a quick check here. If we pass on the correct data, if we pass on the correct values and if we pass on the correct event names. Uh, you can also try this with all the other events that you're firing just for the sake of keeping this video short and to the point. I just did it for the view I did event here. But you should always double check all your other events as well. And I also explained everything here guys with screenshots. Um, and mention uh, is uh, all the variables that we have here. So of course, uh, we created this e-commerce items variable um, that is here and we can see that it's filled correctly. Uh, taking the data layer, uh, you previously noticed I had this little formula to capture the e-commerce items. Using e-commerce dot items would have probably brought me the same result, um, but it doesn't matter, there are multiple methods here. Using e-commerce dot items in your variable will probably do the same thing. Um, it also goes for the e-commerce dot value, uh, hey, which you can see here. Um, and that is actually, let me just show this to you guys here. So this is just this e-commerce value, that's e-commerce dot value. And when we check the data layer, this is right here, e-commerce dot value, the exact same thing. So that is what you should know thus far. Um, so I have like a few other options here for other websites that we uh, that we set this up for. Uh, sometimes uh, there are some things that you encounter in a data layer. For the sake of keeping this video simple, I use like a pretty simple um, example I could find. So furthermore, I also have a remarketing tag for all pages. As you notice in my GTM setup, I have two remarketing tags here. I have one for all pages and I have one for e-commerce events. Um, I added this all pages so I can make sure that all visitors from my website um, yeah, are taken into account by Google. So audiences are created for all visitors because this tag will only target the audience that uh, actually triggered one of those events. Actually, it probably does the same thing. And again, sometimes there's a difference because not everyone targets um, uh, or, or triggers um, an e-commerce event. It's just kind of building in a safety, uh, a safety thing. Uh, so lastly, uh, we're going to check how to debug it. Uh, actually, we already did. Um, so that was just pretty easy. Uh, make sure that your tag fires and make sure it, uh, it contains the right data. Lastly, we're going to check if your setup is working, guys, in Google Tag Manager. Uh, sorry, in, in Google Ads. Um, so we're moving on to Tools and to Audience Manager again. We're hitting Details and then we're hitting Event. So these are all the events that our tag triggered. Um, and we can also see how much hits there are and how many hits there are with a feed key. Uh, so then we know that Google was able to link it to a feed. Um, yeah, so here we see pretty high match rate, guys. This is awesome. Um, we really are getting close to 100% here. Sometimes it's not 100%. It can be uh, 90, it can be 95, it can be 98. Just aim for at least 80, 85%. Because it can happen that sometimes products might not be in your feed and that can then already cause a lower match rate. So this overview really provides everything you need to know. So let's just uh, check if my view item, um, uh, if my view item events uh, encountered any errors here. Uh, maybe some days there was like a low match rate for some specific reason. So we can see this per day. So we can see that here we had those view item hits. Um, and we can also see the view item hits that contained an ID. And we can also see the view item hits that had an ID that matched our product feed. Knowing this, we know we're set up for success here. Our dynamic remarketing works. We have a match rate of close to 100%, guys. Um, this is awesome. Then again, it only works for the view item event, the view item list event, uh, the add to cart event, and the purchase event. We also have a view search result event, but we don't have that on this specific website. Um, 
That was it, guys. Uh, luckily, I could keep it within 15 minutes for you guys, or just over 15 minutes. Um, just know that we at Adquiz, we really specialize in making the best, the absolute best out of Google Ads. We only work with senior experts. If you run into anything with Google Ads, just let me know. Hit me up on LinkedIn uh, or hit us up on our website. I'll make sure everything is linked in the YouTube video, guys. We also do free audits. If you're an e-commerce brand uh, and you're encountering issues with your dynamic remarketing here, um, just hit us, uh, hit us up and we can see if we can help you. That was it, guys. Thank you.